Evening everyone, how are we all doing tonight? Hope we're all well. Welcome along Kyle, I'll see off road 1174, Jane and Daniel. Hope we all had a good day. Hopefully everything sounds okay at the moment. Had to swap back to the other mug again tonight with the background noise in here. The Yeti would pick up far too much of the air conditioning unit fan I've got on in here. I'm not turning it off tonight how warm it is here. Hey Chunky, how are we doing? Right, so we are on Felsbrunn again and it's a little bit wet. It is Jane, far too hot. So after the stream last night I might have been doing a little bit of rearranging. Although this is still Felsbrunn, it's not the same version of Felsbury we had last night I transferred all the files across to a new save game to get rid of that little um, incident we had in the road sort of air where the barn jumped to one side <coughs> we won't go into that one got one of them funny rainstorms on here where the sun is shining but that's still raining so I haven't done anything else on here other than just rearranged everything again Oh, that's good Carl. Uh, I'll one or two maps out there which will work with it. <coughs> Problem seems to be if that's got a um, tickly birch trees on there, if I can gather. So I'll put another couple of mods in tonight. Evening Terry, how are we doing? Put another couple of mods in because we do want a, another tractor on here as a cultivator. And a bale wrapper was about as far as we got last night. <coughs> so we'll get the bale wrapper first today. You have to let me know what the sounds are like. It's one mod I did forget to put back in. Which I just can't do without with the game. Oh, that's good then, 1174. Um... Yeah, I'm not doing without that mod again tonight. Let's go put that mod in that I actually want. Thanks, Terrier. I miss me shuttle mod too much. I've got it, Milton. I did find it. So if the mod contest butterflies work, we might as well swap to them. Hey Hans, how we doing? Well, as you all know, I have got a fair selection of uh, mods in here to work my way through to find them. those ones. This is where we hope I've come back onto the right fells from save game. There's four in there at the moment. Three's the magic number, isn't it? Oh no, that's a song. Okay, it's magically stopped raining when we've come back on there this time. Should have tried that before. So let's try this again. We now have shuttle back. I don't have an update just yet, Daniel. It's only been out 24 hours. I 
So I'll swap these for the um, contest mowers. So I prefer them anyway. What colour is it? 1174. And also, what does the weather forecast say about drawing? There's a lot of hard work in that one, Hans. Mm, perfect drawing conditions then. Alright, let's get the right mowers this time. Should be those ones. That'll be the right ones, they're 20 grand dera. And the bale wrapper. No, it's not quite as much work on uh, PS4 as it is on PC. giving you guys the option on foil colour this time. I know what happened last time I'd done that. It's going to be slightly unrealistic to start with how we get this back to the yard. In one go. Back wheels are almost touching the floor. Not anymore. And you might get one on console eventually, Aaron. This one would never make it through testing. I think that's more of an endo than a wheelie. So we're going to set a help off plowing while we just finish these last few bits. Uh, livestock shall we do on here then? No one sort of gave me an answer last night. Tips for live streaming, be brave. Okay, one for sheep, one for goats, William, really? Beef cattle is a possibility. You just want me to re relive my past and have some limousines on there, I know your game. because there's a few issues with this tract what would not make it through testing basically should know better than expect anything sensible out of you lot GD ain't even here to help you with the nonsense tonight
Yes, you, Milton. So we'll get a help we're going with this. Sorting these out of potatoes out over here. Oh, not bad then, Sam. There's been a food drop on there today. I know you come out with a sensible answer, Jane. It's just because you've been away for a little while now from the streams, you come over all sensible with the answers. Not had us been a bad influence on you for a little while in other streams. Really? At least the soil textures are working okay. I have a feeling you may lurk occasionally. You know what happened the last time you tried to cause trouble, Milton? Right. I have something in mind to do as well. We need a third tractor of a good size. And just for... Without asked about them last night, I did actually put in... The class. T560 ain't a bad combine. So we've got a class in here tonight. Let's see what I want this for in a moment. He got five minutes to think about it. Careful hands, we've got rules about advertising and promotion. So that's our third tractor. Class John Deere and Fen. No class whites, we'll have to have another one of them. Okay, catch you later, Sam. Hard thing when, um, Class ending game is finding the right colours for them. Now we just want a cultivator, which is that one, and you'll see what I'm going to get up to with it. New lighting has taken a bit of getting used to on here. The seasons. As you can see, that white block is a bit on the heavy side, and there's nothing on the back. Now the one complaint most people have about this map is regular shaped fields. Not anymore. Um, Houston, I think we have a problem with this cultivator. The 
paint is falling off it. The lighting is different, it's not so bright. This tractor isn't such a vivid green with it. It's much more of a 17 type lighting, in my opinion. But the paint has well and truly fallen off my cultivator. Right, time for a bit of restyling of fields. So when the help comes to plough them, they're already a different shape. I did chunk in, I think Milton said he's had the problem with the Amazon 3 and 4 metre drills as well. I do like this uh, cultivator crate fields mods. The lighting just looks altogether different on here. Yeah, it's taking a bit of getting used to actually. So I've recorded a meta grove earlier today without seasons. Yes, it will. I mean, it's a case of changing out the birch trees on there. It does, Kian. That's exactly what it's done to them. If we go outside again, you can see it's still shiny, but it's not day glow shiny it's much more of a 17 type lighting is how it feels so it's too cold to drill anything still at the moment anyway so we're not missing out in that respect As you guys know from my Felsman series, those who have watched it, I um, put trees all around these fields in that. I would say this is the change they done to it, because they have changed the whole lighting engine. That's what the 1.4 patch had in it as well, some changes with that. But you have to admit, this doesn't look like um, the Felsbrum we're used to. Hang around, Ch Terrier. Because if it's like GD's first stream on here, that may happen at any time. 
another reason we're not going to start drilling yet. At least the cultivator hasn't raw, raw up in a ridiculous way or anything. It's doing its full speed. I haven't yet, Chunky. Or should I be calling you Betty? We're going to have to be very careful with our rotation there Because these two fields originally belong to us They're going to have different crops onto what the other one does um, You missed something which was said in another stream earlier Milton Chunky is to be known as Betty Swallocks. I'm hoping you've uh, managed to get the joke on that one, Milton. No, I haven't, William. I haven't downloaded any of today's mods. Obviously the soybean texture is working okay with the seasons. Evening Sonata plays, how are we doing? Mm, hopefully we'll get one here at some point in level 74. Might cool things down a bit. This is the Axion 800 series mod Toby, welcome along. I did do a review video of it a while back, so there's a link in that to it. A few weeks ago now. You didn't get that one, Jane? Swap the first two letters of Swallox round for the first letter of Betty. If you need an explanation of it.
That's all I'm going to say on that one in stream. I thought you might be, but I thought I'd explain it anyway. They are nice, William, that's why we've got one on here. soon change the appearance of this map again. There is. Two Deutsch ones aren't exactly um, accurate, though. And nice to have them in there. back at some point then. So say eleven so far it's a shame I didn't I couldn't load in the save game from the server on here because you would know um, notice a massive difference then. have to have a mess around with the rotations in a little while as well and sort something out. We've all got one field but was potatoes. So have to have a look and see what's gonna go best in there. Possibly nothing although we're ploughing it. this whole lot here down to canola I think. We'll check the rotation plan of that, see if it's going to work. One end of this field is going to take a hit. Probably this corn end. These are the fields we're going to put together on here for now. the ones where that's ploughing at the moment is two separate fields. <laughs> yes! That had a couple of interesting occurrences with that little silage we done that night. Now was it you or Chunk you ended up going 90 degrees up a tree? The tractor and silage trailer. One of you two. Ah, doesn't surprise me. I think that was that in the days of Spudnet still. So that's them all pulled together. So 
anything we can do to this field across here, which is ours as well. Little changes we can make in this one to make it a bit more interesting. Not really too much we can do with this one. Ah yes, that was it. The silage pit incident. That took some sorting out. Is that we own this field? Maybe not. Interesting. How dare you, 1174? Okay, we don't own this field yet. Just uh, switch off crate fields in case we catch the ground at any point. At least I only bought one John Deere on there. Actually too much we can do with this one without help end up in the pond I don't think. With a sugar beet. Okay, that means crop destruction is turned on. Hi Rabbit Man, how are we doing? Might need that grass. over here now. Now do we go telehandler or tractor loader? Rather you than me, rabbit man. So telehandler or track loader is the question. One for telehandler. A520 will let you off with because that's decent mod. Wheel loader was not an option, Milton, and you well know it. Yeah, that's why I said rather you than me. Seems to sit really low on the lift arms.
Just when I think there's more than enough numpties giving me answers, Nathan appears. How are we doing, Nathan? So, we'll tell you how that is, as that was the only suggestion from the list I gave. Good, thanks. I haven't put a bag handler in though, I don't think. Hi Barn Lodge, how are we doing? Yeah, I see a couple of other pictures you put up there. Looking good so far. Missed any calamities yet? Apart from this bag not wanting to be picked up, obviously. Yeah, I think hot is sort of a mandatory requirement today. field of grass that needs fertilising. Oh, I know I'm going to sleep well tonight. It's nice and cool in here. So we're going to have to check what was on our fields last time, then we're going to have to look at some crop rotations on here. We're not putting that much fertiliser on either. Ooh, look, another field of spuds. Which have ceased to function.
smash this, it's gonna be nice and warm for you then. It's warm over there as it's here, isn't it? We've got two fields which are going to be ex-potatoes, which is going to be fun to work with. One ex-corn, two ex-cereal fields. So we're going to have to play with some crop rotations. We've got two fields which are egg cereals that'll pull the yield down, I believe. We shall have a look. Just have a look at as we're um, FPS ain't too bad. better was. Help us getting across that one all right. So let's have a look at what we've had in the fields. Potatoes in two, sugar beet in one, wheat and corn. Okay. So I think it's time we had to look at some rotations here. Grass one can wait for now. Mm, they're better than they were in 17, I think is the best way to describe it. Right, crop rotations. So we'll start with what was in the fields this time. They're the starting crops we've had. So I'll try and keep them two the same as we knock them fields into one. That ain't good.
this one's going to be the tricky one to work with. Bear in mind that grass field, we're going to have to plow up after a couple of goes. Before we do any more on that, let's just have a quick sprint around those fields and see what's been in them. So, two fallows before that. Same with that one. We've got a small fertilised strip between them. And fallow before. Yep, I've had that one too, Rabbit Man. So these ones are fairly simple to work with. We're not going to use fallow if we can help it too much. So that had soya beans before fallow. Cereal all seed shoot. Ooh, that's an interesting rotation. do away with them um, sugar beet maybe we won't be growing potatoes on here that's for certain so two fallows before grass and two cereals before potatoes and this feels going to be troublesome So that had two fallows there, which meant that was that one. Same as that one. Every time you'll see me run is in game, you'll never see me do it anywhere else. Yes, kind of where I'm trying to work now is how to get that to do that. So we know we should be fairly decent rotation there, but we're obviously not going to use fallow again. So them two are going to be fine with canola, so I'm quite happy with that. So that's one field. Potatoes, wheat, canola. The grass would work on those two, that's not a problem.
I'm not worried what it does to the sugar beet there particularly. Soybeans are a troublesome one to get to do what you want. The numbers is how much yield it'll give more than standard, 1.2 being the maximum. So you can use this to plan your yield to get the most out of it. The two fields that add roots on are going to be the troublesome ones. I think we might have to take a hit on the yield the first year with wheat and after that we'll be clear for that one. Yeah, I think you're probably right there, Terrier. Bad rotation, I guess. doesn't matter if you do oats then wheat because they're all cereal crops so I need the grass in that one Yeah, that's yield above standard from what I can make out, Mike. Welcome along. It's just getting it to do what we want. Because next time around there's not going to be sugar beet there, so... Yeah. That one's fairly easy. As these two fields will had roots on. what I'm planning there so anything I'd roots on is going to have wheat next if I buy the canola or grass then we'll work our way through the grass field is going to be a bit different yeah could they really do more than four slots for rotation oh it has my there's an awful lot more to this one This one's really going to make you think. You always have your camera phone handy when you sort your rotation out. So the grass field is going to be a bit more fun. One kind of thinking is two lots of grass. Followed by a cereal, 
Followed by grass for two years. And we'll just work that one. Something like that. Hey MGG, how we doing? So that's going to be our grass field there. Which should also mean we didn't have to worry about grass in these ones. Ah, uh, I'd done new farm and then just sold everything. So basically everything is going to be cropped in some way, shape or form. The wheat is just going to take a bit of a bashing on that potato land, unfortunately. But that's what we'll do. If it's like me at the minute, sit there, scratch your head till there's no sparks coming off your fingers. Alright, where's that helper now? What calamity has that got up to? No, it's still behaving. So this one will come into wheat. That one will go into wheat, barley, oats, something like that. One over there is canola. I'm guessing all these fields are going to need ploughing anyway. No. Need to do some liming though. Actually, the only bits what need ploughing are the bits between there. We need to do some lime on that one. Do we? Where are we? Those two... That whole block. Those ones have got one stage of fertilisation on them. That one's got two because we ploughed a crop in. That one's got one because we ploughed grass in. Okay, this is looking more interesting. Yeah, something like that, Mike, or camera phone to keep taking pictures of what you're trying to come up with. What I found is a good way of doing it. Got a little bit of weed in that one we're gonna get rid of. But we're gonna have to lime all that lot. Not do that whole block. So that takes on to what we're now gonna have to do, obviously. We'll get the helper to play the uh, sugar beet out as well, I think. We're going to lease a lime spreader. Yes it is Mike. Uh, you can use seasons on any map but you may find a few conflicts I think is the best way to describe it and a few problems with trees. We'll lease that. Standard one, MGG. I just don't leave it standard with fields. I start messing around with them. Yeah, I think it's the 17 birch trees someone said that are causing the problems. Ah, this is Melfoy's texture pack off um, FSUK grass textures pack V number one. I think it goes as off FBM. Um, various other textures I've borrowed from other maps.
makes a huge difference. And that's soybeans in front of that texture which looks like snow over there. I've got different canola textures in here, different soybean textures, oat textures. I've borrowed a lot of them off the um, Azena map. As I like them. <laughs> Funny enough, you're not the first one who's wanted a little assistance with um, these textures. Get the help of flowering. There we go. Funnily enough, I know someone who done a video on how to do some of them. Certainly done one how to do the soil textures. Which I don't think this is going to be big enough for that lime spread. We want the class. you have to do is stick all the textures in your data folder and foliage folder absolutely nothing to it it's the um, Xena textures I had the problem with when I missed one <clears throat> as anyone will know who's watching that live stream where I had snow coming out the back of the combine Fill up with a lime station. That'll allow us to see a bit more of this map in seasons. Hi, Pro Gamer. Welcome along. Soil textures is easy. Um, follow my video, basically. If you look back through my channel, there's a video on how to do that one. There is a link there to the soil texture pack, but you'll need to get it by the 1st of August. Because that's when FSUK shuts its doors and you lose everything. There's also a different fill plane texture on barley on here. To be honest, I always quite enjoyed Felsbrin anyway, but then I altered it and modified it and messed around with it somewhat. Yep, soil texture pack off FSUK. If you find my video I done on how to do it, from a few weeks back um, you'll see there's a link in the description to it FAS UK is closing down on the 1st of August Jane for good all the mods will be gone everything yeah okay level 74 They are going to start a new site up, but it's no longer going to host mods. It's 
that's what I normally do when we lease the spread, just do everything with it. Yeah, it goes a long way if you use the variable rate mod on here, Terrier. You turn the spread rate right down. Yeah, I've not regretted swapping to PC just over a year ago. Right, so we are going to do this one. What I would say is play with Felsburn until the maps are updated. It's one way of minimising the chance of anything going wrong. Let's just turn the spread rate down, that's on 300 at the moment. Do we want 100? Yes it does. So I don't want to start on Medigroove yet until we've got the updates. I know this one doesn't really need liming at the moment, but I was getting it anyway. Bit steep there. Both these fields are withered. Yeah. Evening GD, how we doing? Quite possibly Terrier, though they're not quite as bad in 19 as they were in 17 for that. They still do some silly things, but not as bad. What have you done, GD? I like how it's always the case, have you broken something again? It's not, oh, have you broken something? It's always again. So 
So as you can see, Terry, with this variable spread rate mod, the line hardly goes down. Really, GD? After all those times you said, whenever we change textures, make sure you have a backup, you finally haven't done it. Let's not look at this one. Yeah, so as you slow down with this mod, it also slows down the spread rate. Speed up, it speeds it up again. Now, who else was it who didn't do a backup for their textures? Oh, Dal. <laughs> I seem to remember having to send him a uh, XML to do something along those lines. What we mean, Daniel, is copy the folder before you start modifying them. Then if anything goes wrong, you can just swap them back in again. Because things do go wrong sometimes when you do these texture swaps. Basically, Jane, yeah. <laughs> you do, GD. I can't understand why it's done it though. What you've done wrong to not allow any maps to load up. Hi Tom, how are we doing? This is why we didn't put the 6920 on the lime spreader. Not yet, Tom. We're plowing two fields of potatoes up on here, which are withered. We're doing potatoes at some point on seasons, but not yet. Sugar beet we may keep in for now. I suppose you could try potatoes as well, but um, yeah, I know what you guys think of potatoes. <laughs> I hardly used any lime at the moment. Yeah, what you've missed, Terry, in your absence for a few months is uh, my love of potatoes on maps and how I spent three to four live streams doing one potato field with three harvesters. Worthwhile experiment made some good money but uh, yeah
this new light is really taking some getting used to on here. Getting better every breakage or getting worse every breakage, GD. Yeah, I guess uh, potatoes would work better if we had pigs on here, but we're not doing pigs. I guess. So no one of them bits in the middle there want lime and what we cultivate, but we'll do the whole lot. Could be our biggest field. That's taken into one. A few weeds growing there now. Okay, MGG. Anything to make it look better for anyone. Those same textures work in 17 as well. Just a little uh, hint for you if you want to go back. A lot of these textures we're using in 19 will work in both, apart from the grass one. Don't try and use this grass texture in 17. Because it uses XML files, it will not work. No, I haven't tried, I just know it without trying. be every householder's worst nightmare to have this spread right behind the house. So it was a bit windy. So 
you can see the different soybean stubble there as well from the textures I've been using now I've got them right Next in game day, hopefully we'll be able to do some drilling. So hopefully by then the soil temperature will have risen. At the minute it's too cold. We also need to sort the livestock side of things out. Which I think we're settling on beef cattle, are we not? No, not unicorns, Jane. They get too bad tempered in the heat. So we're on nine day seasons on here. For now. No goats. Still haven't bought our drill yet. You know, GD's he's really quiet, that must mean he's really broken something this time. It's never a good sign if he goes this quiet. Yeah, we might have a look at pigs at some point in the future. I just know there's a lot of work involved in doing them. Legitimately. <clears throat> I know they had a thunderstorm down Dahl's direction, Jane. Whether well, he's um, melted in that, they've still got it. This guy is starting to look a bit more um, iffy here now. What's the good news, GD? Good news is you fixed it, the bad news is it's no longer broken. You 
Yeah, that's kind of why I was using the Cattle Breeds mod as well. Your maps load, but with the old textures. There's a big butt coming up. What have you done, GD? You've really done it this time, haven't you? That's not just a little bit broken. Because if I do this and this, it's sort of, um, yeah. High 70s to the low 80 FPS on here. In cab, it goes up a bit. Depending which way we look. Tonky should work for the military testing their armoured equipment. Well, I just thought I'd mention it, GD. Because I was being helpful, I'd say I'd give you a copy of my texture folder. Hey Sam Agri, how are we doing? Is this sort of more of the lime usage rate you'd like to see, Terrier? You're still lurking there. We haven't even used a thousand litres yet. I don't know, Sam. They're obviously announcing something this weekend, but there's already another DLC in the pipeline. I have no knowledge of what it is, though. I would be surprised if it was class, though, to be honest. Oh dear. How do you break the entire data folder? <coughs> now why might you want my texture folder MGG? Yeah, I have a feeling that's what we're more going to be looking at somehow. It's unusual to bring a big name in halfway through a series. I had a feeling that might be what you want, but... I'll see what I can do. Oh, spring barley's ready, is it? Still a little way off around here. They're in winter barley. One or two have actually started wheat today. Around this way, apparently. But most are still doing winter barley or horsey's rape. So one little tiny patch of weeds on that whole field. That's a big improvement. I can live with a weeds like that.
Yeah. I can live with them spreading in small patches though. Because it's still a vast improvement over what we had before. not so good then. Okay, catch you later Terrier, thanks for stopping by tonight. Good to have you back. anyone in chat who's not subscribed to Terry just head over and check him out he's returned from a little uh, break if you think GD can crash well you've seen nothing yet could say classified super spy Sam but no work in agricultural training these days some one of those guys who goes around do and does things like forklift training for farms um, pesticide training that sort of thing these days used to work on farms Resisting it rather well at the moment to want to go back and do it all again. Oh, trust me, if you'd seen Terrius crash this afternoon, you'd know GD needs to up his game. Oh, so no wonder your spring ball is ready for you down Hampshire way. A good bit south of here. Somehow I'm picturing GD's game like the Hoff Bergman incident at the moment where the FPS was um, diabolical. Boy, you've really done a number on it this time, haven't you? I like that one, Jane.
At least it's not snowed on here yet. Give it time. So one more field to do after this one. I think we might have a bit too much lime though. Have to store that. Ready for next time. Squad Spence TV, how are we doing? Shame on you, GD. How could you have an epic break as you're not recorder? You're slipping, that must be the heat today. Okay, catch you later Sam. Thanks for stopping by tonight. Much appreciated. Hi Martin, how are we doing? You know, nothing's gonna need liming for three seasons now on here. We've done it all in one go.
I'm good, thanks. It's starting to cool down a little bit now, I think. Have you fixed it, GD? Re-downloaded re the game? yet William to be honest I don't do much um, round bale silage to use the wrappers That's an interesting one, William. Okay, catch you later, Milton. Speak to you tomorrow. So if you were to get the drill that um, was suggested last night, the Lemkin, we're going to need a big cultivator for seedbed harrowing. Because that is not a disc drill. For behind plowed work, and it's not a direct drill. It's going to require a bit more work on our part if we get the Lemkin. Which has kind of put me off a little bit. I knew about the trailer issue, but I didn't know about the bale wrapper. Silly question, but it's definitely grass bale that um, you're trying to wrap. What do you mean, Jane? Why is it not covering the same? puts more work onto the big fence though. I was kind of looking at the horse drills. So I believe there's a mod pack out there with uh, driving lines out of term or tram lines. That's probably because there's a um, crop in it, Jane. Double check to make sure it's covering it okay. Yep, lime's okay on there. It's a long while since I've seen a withered crop in game. one of the 
the first things I usually turned off. What do you mean, where did the worker come from? I set that going on there quite a while ago, Mike. GD had quite a big patch of germination failure. Or rather it died. Nice little patch of weeds there. The weeds seem to come... Things seem to happen more of a grid pattern in root crops. It's more uniform in the root crop. Ah! Not paying attention, Mike, you see. He was turning on the headland when we were doing it. We've done that bit. That's why we probably didn't see him. How about that takes some of the fun out of it, William? If you turn the withering off. I haven't even looked to see if you can do it, to be fair. couldn't in season 17 because that's an essential part of the game. I guess it'll be the same in 19. Crop destruction can be turned off though. Ah, I see. Because you're over in um, America, aren't you, from memory? Don't know well, since you've sort of commented in stream, but I seem to remember you being over that way somewhere. Got the wrong person. Which is entirely probable after the heat today. Let's have a look what we can actually deactivate in here. So as you can see we're missing a few bits. Crop destruction we've still got. But withering has gone. No. Hey Stephen, how are we doing? Let's just pull that back up on times five now. That's all our fields limed. Oh yeah, I got something right. Turn that off. I'm good, thanks. So you ought to get a pressure washer, really. Look at the state of these. really want all this lime up in the farmyard so I'm gonna um, do something else with it. Yeah, just a little Jane. A little bit Steve, and that's early days still yet. If we don't want it in the yard, well we might as well um at the shop and um, that didn't quite go according to plan either never mind so we need to figure out where we're going to put our cow yard actually Exactly, Jane. No traffic, no problem. I'm thinking it looks better. It's just taking a little while to get used to. 
it's not so day glow. I think we'd started to get used to how bright things was, or had become on here. Bright things was, bright things are. It's good English tonight. Me know English very well. So you notice we can now repair and repaint. Okay. We have a rather loud rumbling noise outside at the moment. Which means it's thundering. So means I may not be streaming much longer if we've got a storm. For obvious reasons. PC is through a surge protector, but the Ethernet is not. So we need to sort some livestock stuff out while we're down here. We might as well take it back with us. Well, to be fair, we here, look at what we need to do the livestock. So, let's go into the shop at Livestock Placeables. So I was going to have to use the in-game one, we want cattle. So it's obviously not going to fit there. Don't really want to put it in... Well, Milton knows what happens if you put it over here, because that's where he had his cow yard on the server. There's going to be space in our yard over here for it. Not sensibly. Just going to do something silly to the road. Um, where shall we put our cow yard? Really want to move it to the other end of the map if we can help at this time. Point giant. What we've done with them before was put them down in this corner here near field 15. Because all over here is fairly unlevel. I mean we're running about with stuff backs and forwards. Yeah. I suppose we could use that field next to the yard there. It's sort of field 20. It's not going to cause us big problems to take that one up. We can paint some grass in there. we go for the small cattle pasture for now. Put it somewhere on this field maybe. do a little bit of landscaping again to sort that mess out. Sort of come into the barn a little bit. No much you guys love seeing me mess around with the landscaping tool. we can now paint um, 
grass and other growth stages on here. And it's nearby to where we want to be. Let's just sort that bar now because it looks like our cultivar has gone through the ground at the moment. The trouble my mouse is I haven't got the wheel locked at the moment, that's a bit free wheeling. So it'll zoom in and out quite easily. Need to level this off a bit. I think that's pulled the cultivator back out of the ground now. Paint that back to tarmac. Any other lower stock you'd like to see us try on here while we're at it in this end? to try sheep as well if you so wish anything other than pigs and chickens by the sound of it yeah two monitors is a lot better Stephen means you can play and do other things at the same time Too square, do we? Let's make it look a bit more, um, a bit less uniform, shall we say, with the food curves. So the sheep pasture. So we need to do a bit more landscaping. Definitely need to do a bit more landscaping.
turn the zone markers off anyway, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, put water onto the animal pens, I believe, William. Which is exactly what we'll be doing, because I have the animal pen extension in here. As you can see, we've got little marks near them. Well, we're going to find out, Stephen, because we're going to be doing beef cattle on here. So, so I'll turn the zone markers off so they're not floating once we get going. What's up with the internet then, Stephen? <clears throat> I've been using this a fair bit, Jane. I've also been using Giant's Editor for a little while doing this sort of thing. So as long as you're careful with it, you can sort of make a few hills and holes and... All you've got to do is just smooth things off a bit. easy to make mistakes with this still. Ah, that would cause problems then. Let's just, um, So we'll see if we can just get this leveled off. Mm, a lot of them have been in the process of being updated, Daniel. Too bad. you getting cross with your new table take a hammer and if you do that too much 1174 probably not a good idea now you've got a glass one
that's the main thing. As long as you're happy how it looks. Enjoy it, Stephen. So I'll be finished in a few minutes anyway. leveled off something like that not going to use that, I think I'm going to install that mod. We'll use the Seasons ones. I presume these have got to go near the water troughs. get this wrong, I get this wrong. I've never used them before. As for the breed, Stephen, let's have a look. Alright, so Limousin. The prices are a lot different as well. well I presume as long as they're near the water troughs, that's all that's going to matter. Limousin, which is of the um, beef bull, being male. Airshare, Sailor, Holstein, um, Brahmins as well. Got two dairy breeds and two beef breeds, and then the four different types of um, American breed. I'm not going to put them into nogs, we haven't got any grass at the moment or hay or anything ready for them. And as for sheep, so I'm going to be finishing in a couple of minutes anyway before that um, noise outside causes any issues. Dorset, Merino, Suffolk and Dorper. So several different sheep in there and the price is a lot better as well. So there are different breeds. But that is where I'm going to finish tonight. As I say we've got a storm here at the minute. I don't really want to have my PC running while that's happening too much. So I'm going to be finishing there, so I'll pop a link into description for today's video as per normal. 
provided everything is good works so it should do but for now I'll say thank you for watching tonight I should be back tomorrow night I'd imagine but for now thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the stream and I'll see you again tomorrow goodbye for now